How amazing would it be to get a wireless internet connection via satellite? If it sounds too good to be true and you've resigned yourself to those chunky internet wires, then you probably haven't heard about Starlink. Starlink is Elon Musk's ambitious project to launch a constellation of thousands of satellites into space orbiting the Earth. Starlink will then beam high-speed internet signals to Earth, making the internet available worldwide. Keep watching to find out more about Starlink, SpaceX's internet of the future. 42,000 satellites in space CEO of SpaceX Elon Musk says his Starlink project will launch a whopping 42,000 satellites into space that will orbit Earth. The satellites will provide low-cost internet service to even the most remote locations on the planet. Astronomers and sky watchers are in a tizzy over the size and scale of this massive operation, and many are voicing concern that the orbiting objects are going to interfere with astronomy and block observations of the universe and night sky. However, this uproar is hardly a deterrent for Musk. We all know Elon Musk tends to plan the most outrageous projects in a bid to make once futuristic ideas a reality. Starlink was launched in 2015. The Starlink project was announced in January 2015. SpaceX has already initiated the legalities with international regulators to start placing about 4,000 satellites in low Earth orbit. Currently, internet signals are transmitted over regular or fiber optic cables, which need to be laid down physically either overhead or underground. In many cities around the world, these cables can be a real eyesore. Satellite internet would instead beam information through space, and the signal will be able to travel 47 times faster than it does through the cables. This means super-speed internet at a fraction of the cost. There are some internet satellites in orbit around the Earth now, but they are large space vehicles orbiting Earth at 22,236 miles high and aren't as efficient as Musk would like them to be. There's a lot of delay in data transmission. Starlink satellites, on the other hand, would be smaller and closer to Earth, allowing them to process incredible amounts of information and transmit signals to any point on Earth, even in the middle of the ocean or a mountaintop. 1,737 Starlink satellites are now circling Earth. Starlink was launched as a technical division of SpaceX. It has even secured over $885.5 million in funding from the Federal Communications Commission in 2020. It seems Musk's venture will become a reality in the next couple of years because work is rapidly progressing. Starlink has already achieved its first milestone of putting 1,000 satellites into orbit. The company has been launching satellites into orbit from the Kennedy Space Center using its Falcon 9 orbital rocket. In January of 2021, 60 satellites were launched into orbit Orbit, bringing the total number of Starlink satellites to around 1,737. And guess what? It even has 10,000 customers already. SpaceX is targeting what it calls global serviceability by October, and regional availability will depend on permission by authorities. While speaking at the Mobile World Congress in June, Elon Musk said that come August, Starlink will be available across the world, barring the North and South Poles. That's a bold claim, but Elon Musk usually delivers on his promises. How does Starlink work? Currently, Starlink is only available in areas of the US, Canada, and select regions of other countries. The coverage map is bound to grow in the new future because Starlink is ideally suited for regions where connectivity via physical cables is a challenge. As more satellites are launched into the Starlink constellation, more countries will be covered by Starlink. Eventually, Starlink hopes to blanket the entire planet in a usable high-speed Wi-Fi signal. To get Starlink, all a user needs to do is set up a small satellite dish somewhere outside their home. The Starlink signal is received through a router. You can even use the Starlink app, which uses augmented reality to show you the best place to position it. As of now, Starlink internet speeds are in the range of 50 to 150 megabits per second, with latency from 20 to 40 milliseconds in most locations, which is pretty good. Latency is the delay in an internet network that measures how much time it takes for a signal to transmit back and forth from a destination. This is a vital measurement, along with download speeds for any internet service provider. Elon Musk says that the target of Starlink is to provide speeds of up to 300 megabytes per second and latency of 20 ms by end 2021. Moreover, the end of 2021 is the deadline Elon Musk has set for global coverage by Starlink. Musk intends Starlink to benefit customers in low to medium population density areas and to make broadband affordable for all. How much does Starlink cost? Starlink has already started a beta program where interested companies can use the service for $99 per month plus an initial payment of $500 for the mountable satellite dish and router that needs to be installed. That might seem expensive, but Musk says the cost will be worth it for people who live in remote locations and have little to no access to the internet. How much is it going to cost SpaceX? Starlink will cost 
billions. Ten billion dollars, to be precise. That's a lot of dough, but Elon Musk and SpaceX aren't exactly strapped for cash. And it's not like he is going to be digging into his own pockets for this project. Funding is already pouring in, with $885 million already being provided by the Federal Communications Commission. As much as it costs, Starlink is expected to rake in profits. Musk expects the network will bring in almost $30 billion a year, which is more than 10 times the annual revenue of his existing rocket business. This means it should recover most of its costs in just a year. Elon Musk's dream is to send people to Mars and he feels Starlink will earn enough to fund the mission. He also says that the day SpaceX helps humans establish a base on Mars, they will need an effective communication system to contact Earth. What better way to do that than to use Starlink? Beyond providing affordable internet to remote locations on Earth, Starlink may also be the future communication service provider for Mars. Don't you think Elon Musk has some pretty amazing ideas? What do you think of Starlink? Tell us in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tech Division.